Hi, I'm Marion Landry, Technical Marketing Manager for Autodesk. In this showcase tips and tricks, I want to show you how you can snap to other objects in your scene, as well as move the pivot point to facilitate the snapping action. Okay, so you've received this nice armoire here, but by looking around, you are noticing that there's a hole in it um, and that is missing a plank here to close up the uh, front door. So basically what you could do is uh, use an object that is already present in your scene, i.e. this plank of wood and duplicate it and move it to the other side. So you can move it arbitrary into your scene, but by doing so, you're not going to know that is in position and that is snap or really close to the other object where it should be. So this is a good example of where snapping would come really handy. Let me use this scene to show you a little bit more in detail what I mean by snapping. First of all, let's look at these objects with the tessellation mode on, so you get to see the corner and the wireframe of these objects. You can also do so by instead of when you select the object having an animated grid, change it to a blue wireframe under the user preference. Now by default, the pivot point of each object from which the scale and move and rotate transform will be performed is normally set at the center of the object. Now you can move the pivot point by pressing insert on your keyboard. Pressing G will move the pivot point to the bottom of your object, but you can also press S to snap the pivot point onto the corner of your object if you want. Now changing the pivot point will affect how you uh, transform this object. To get out of the transform pivot point mode, you need to press insert again. Now the reason why I need to move the pivot point is that when I use the snapping tool after to move my object, it will always snap from the pivot point onto the other object point, edge or surface. Now to activate the snapping mode, you just have to press the S key. So this will be very useful to place an object in your scene at a specific location. So first, you might want to move the pivot point of the object you are trying to snap, and then you'll be able under the transform mode to snap to any other object in your scene. So if I go back to my armoire, I'm going to duplicate the wood plank from the left side. I'm going to select it move it over close to where I need it to be. Now keep in mind that I'm going to rotate this wood plank 180 degrees so the ridge of the wood plank is properly oriented. Now to do so you can click on the ball and enter 180 degree manually so there's a precise rotation. Now I'm going to use my snap tool to snap to the next object. So I'm going to press insert to get into the pivot point mode. Then I'm going to press G to bring the pivot point to the bottom of my object. And then I'm going to press S to snap it to the corner of my object. I'm going to press insert again to get out of the pivot point mode. And now I will be able to move my extra plank and make sure that it's snapped to the other object. So that is in position exactly where I want it to be. Now I can snap to any other object in a scene and I can place this object where I want it and I can trust now that is in the right position. So snapping will come really handy if you want to do keyframe animation and you need to rotate, scale or move certain object in a certain specific position or if you need to snap one object to either a point, an edge or a face of another object.